In this video, I will show you the tips and tricks that held my ultimate arm in the most. A video I wanted to put together for a long time. Hopefully some of these methods will help you out. And if you know any methods yourself that aren't mentioned in this video, make sure you uh, share them below. So uh, let's get right into this video. All right, so the first location is the Releka market stall. And there's this guy called Sigmund. He has a shop with noted vials of water, uh, a pestle mortar, really nice spades candles some food and some tools and this shop also works as a general store so you can sell anything here for some quick coins if you forgot to uh, bring any money overall i use this shop probably the most right now for uh, general stuff now method to get the is using the boots you do need the elite diary for that so it's kind of a high requirement but a uh, alternative method to get here what i used to do back in the day was uh, through my poh using the water birth teleport just build a portal, uh, you can use the portal and you go from here and you use this guy and you're pretty much at the market stall as well by walking to the east. Another really good shop compared to the uh, Releka one is the lighthouse. Uh, you can ferry there, go inside and go up and then there's a store right at the guy that sells the books and this one is Pretty comparable, has a pestle and mortar, water vials, rope, and you can also sell stuff here that works as a general store. So it's a really good shop as well. Another really nice location for ropes early game is uh, at NAT. After the quest you can buy uh, ropes here for around 16 GP, so not bad. Really fast way to get here if you have the glory and you can buy your ropes for like KQ and quest and everything. I uh, didn't know about the uh, the shops in Relac and Lighthouse before, so I use this shop quite a bit for uh, for ropes. All right, so number two on this list has to be the house locations. Uh, you can go to Felador and go to the uh, construction guy, and he will move your house to different locations. And really, all the different locations each have their own uh, benefits, and I will qu uh, shortly go into all the benefits and why you should switch your house. All right, so the nice thing about Rivington is it has a boost patch next to the portal. And as you can see, I have a white berry planted there. Uh, I'm grabbing these when I'm doing bundles or need super defense. So I quickly grab a white berry here, buy a vial at some of the previous stores and then use uh, the Galentine. So I can quickly make super defense potions for uh, bossing. Another nice thing about this is it has the uh, mine nearby where you can buy uh, mine soft clay. You can go to the general store here and grab some buckets and quickly uh, make soft clay for like house steps and stuff. So that's where I've been using this portal for uh, mostly. Up next is Teverly, one that I used mostly when I was uh, lower level doing Slayer and construction. Uh, Teverly is super good for making potions quickly. Uh, when I was doing like early slay, I, I used to bring super attack potions and regular attack potions. And if you have like irrits noted in your inventory, you can go to this shop, buy the Eye of Nudes directly, pass some mortar, and buy some vials. And then I walked up to the uh, fountain here, filled up the vials, like put the herb in, and then boom, you have super attack potions or regular attack potions for slayer. So that's really nice. Also really close to the uh, Tevli dungeon, and here's the uh the balloon method for construction so right the next best location is probably brimhave uh, i've been using a brimhave a lot especially when i was on the zura grind because brimhave is uh first of all really close to a farming patch so i've been using this this setup uh, mostly when i was doing uh, a lot of farm runs for the fruit tree here also really close to a uh, charter ship right here and the spirit tree right there and also this house location is also really nice for the for the food shop right here for the Karam bomb. And you can walk south and go to the general store and you can buy some anti potions there. So this location is perfect if you're early on in the Zura grind. You don't have the uh, Serpentine Helm yet. Leka might be good to uh, get to the market stall if you don't have any other teleports there. Uh, it might also be good for the uh, Sl Leka Slayer dungeon if you don't have the fairy ring. And I used it a few times when I was doing low level uh, Dagon of King. So besides from that, not many uh, good uses for this portal. All right, so the number three on this list definitely has to be the Red Pierce minigame teleport. After the uh, Red Catcher quest, you unlock this minigame teleport and you can choose four locations. 
So let me show you where I teleport to when I pick uh, ID. All right, so I spawn pretty much next to the achievement diary cape and also uh, almost directly at the west gate. So I've been using this recently for stuff like the hard clue location and the medium clue location, uh, as well as getting the cape back if I have to teleport up. So really nice uh, teleport to know about. If you pick the Varg location, you spawn uh, near this mine hole. This one is super good as well if you want to buy runes uh, on an early level. And also you can get access to this shop fairly fast. And in this shop you can buy needles and threads. So that's good for like clue scrolls and crafting. Pretty uh, pretty quick to get to the shop with that minigame teleport. And the last useful location is next to the fishing shop in Port Sarim. You can get quick access to feathers again and uh, the dock. So pretty useful one. The last one is not so useful because it teleports you to Caldergrim and you have the blast furnace teleport for that. So I wouldn't recommend using that. Right, so number four on this list is achievement diary items. I'm pretty sure everyone knows the uh, Arduin cape to the monastery and then you can walk east and there's a fairy ring that you can get quick access to. But I've been using the Fermanic boots the most lately. Uh, as I mentioned in the last tip, you can teleport to the market pretty fast and another one that's really nice is the exploring besides going to the farming patch uh, what i sometimes do if i for example die in a game and i spawn with, in lumbridge with nothing uh, what you can do is walk south to port sarim and use your spirit tree if you have one uh, and teleport to your house so that way you are at your house and from there you can go and get some money and buy runes so this is really useful when you don't have anything you can get the exploring in lumbridge for free and then you can teleport here and you pretty much have a free house teleport you can use exploring to the spirit tree for any activities as well pretty much works as a free uh house teleport but it requires a lot of uh, uh, high farming levels all right so number five is definitely getting your health lower before putting your items on the ground um there are two methods that i've recently been using uh, that some of my friends told me in my stream and one of them is getting attacked by these trolls here uh, you can easily get your health low just teleport out whenever you feel like you uh, got a lot of hits so let's see all right so right now i'm uh, pretty low health so now i go to the lumbridge basement or the edgeville place and pick nettles or uh, get damage from the dark and then you have your items on the ground, but you can do it a lot faster this way because you're already really low health. All right, so another great method to get your health low is going to the Winnethot. If you have the jewelry box, you can instantly teleport here, go to the mini game without any of the warm armor, and that way you can get hit quite a bit and your health will go down really fast. So that will definitely speed up the uh, process as well. So you just wait here and you get damage. So if you feel like you lost enough health, you go to actual Lumbridge and do the rest of the process. That way you save a lot of time. So definitely uh, use this because I didn't really uh, think about this early on. All right, so the next thing I want to mention is pineapples. Probably a lot of people already know that you can use pineapple as super compost. You can buy them in the charter ships, buy them here and then uh, walk north, put them in a the bin. Uh, but another really nice thing about pineapples is you can teleport to Brimhave. I used to do this back when I was doing uh, fruit trees every day. Because if you if you plan on killing any Zura, you're going to get loads of papaya seeds. And to protect papayas, you need pineapples. So what I did was buying pineapples at the um, charter ship right here. Then walk back to the fruit tree patch. Note the pineapples on the sky here. And I walk back to the sh uh, charter ship. Uh, buy pineapples again and just repeat that until you have enough pineapples to protect all your papaya tr uh, papaya trees so you just walk back and forth until you have enough you can also uh, stack up some noted pineapples and then unnote them at the uh, right bins in the f at the farming patches so right so number seven is making use of the poh custom room i've been doing a lot of saradomen lately and yes i have died and it's super scary so you have to make sure you have a good backup plan 
Uh, you can store items such as sandals and uh, let me show you what I have in my heart. Let's see, I have the D high boots. You can grab a glory, uh, quickly grab like a void set. And from the cape rack, I usually take a semi cape and then I teleport with my fairy ring to the lighthouse and grab like an armored little bandles book if I do need it. So I have at least a quick setup ready to go back to Gold Wars and uh, go get my stuff back because if you're dying and you don't know what to do that's the worst thing that can happen so make sure you have a good backup plan ready and uh, some god items might help with that so keep that in mind all right so number eight on this list is food locations in the gnome stronghold you can buy uh, pre-made tangle root and chocolate bombs and these use 16 and only cost around 160 gp each so this is really good for uh, low level Iron Man Ultimate Iron Man that are doing quests and need some quick healing food and also you can combo food this so if you have like another piece of food you can eat that in one tick so uh, really nice to uh, to have this is mostly known for potato and pizza but actually the stews are really useful as well uh, I didn't really like think about this back in the day but you can actually buy stews quickly and go boost for uh, for like stats for quests or clues in Instead of uh, buying the stews in Camelot, you can just grab stews here. All right, so number nine on this list is asking your hood back, your skull cape hood. This might sound really weird, but uh, it's actually super useful and you save some money doing that. So if I ask for another hood, it will give me a hood for free. And that way I can put it in a POH again. And I didn't really knew about this before. I, I always really just high out my skill cape for like 60k and then buy a new one. But you lose quite a bit of money in the long run doing that. But yeah, asking your hood back makes you able to uh, store your cape every time. Because you really don't want to take a hood everywhere. So that might help some of you guys. Because I, I never really knew this. Knew about this until uh, a few weeks ago. Alright, so the last tip is making sure you always get the first hit when a monster spawns. And how to do this is... Let's see. Let's kill this dragon. And right click and keep the screen open now all you have to do is wait for the npc to spawn and as soon as you the monster spawns you directly can click on the attack option this is really helpful at wyverns because i got crashed endlessly back when i did my 10k wyvern grind and by using this method i pretty much always get the first first hit on the monster if you're new to the channel feel free to uh, subscribe hopefully uh, some of these tips helped you and I wish you all happy days with Christmas and I see you next video. New uh, progress video should be out somewhere next week. And I got a very special video before the year ends as well. So stay tuned for that.